In most districts, we're beginning to get a clear view of which teams are obvious playoff contenders and which teams will be fighting for the final few spots in the postseason. But that's not the case in District 10-6A. Our North Texas Honda dealer's inside story shows us that halfway through the season, all four playoff spots in 10-6A are still very much up for grabs. Saxe has been 10-6A's top dog the last few years, but they were tripped up by Wiley on the road. The Pirates have picked up a couple of wins in district play, but they were beaten last week by Lakeview Centennial. The Patriots also have two district wins, but they were beaten by North Garland. And the Raiders lost to Naaman Forest. That leaves Rowlett, a team that has made 14 straight playoff appearances, sitting at 3-0, but two of their wins have come by just one point. It's safe to say seven of the eight teams in 10-6A have a legitimate chance at those four playoff spots. It makes it fun. I mean, it makes every game worth it each week, and um, you're never out of it, and you're never fully in it. So um, every week you got an opponent that you have to prepare for and play, so it really makes every week just like a playoff game for us. It comes down to about four or five plays in a game, and, and if you're prepared for that, play and, and make something happen. It can either be an average play or a big play. And if you have enough big plays, you're going to win the football game. Other than Wiley, all of these teams reside in Garland ISD, which means most of these kids are really familiar with one another. And it makes for much more intense games when you know the guy across the line of scrimmage extremely well. We don't have to do a whole lot of scouting as far as personnel because they, they know each other. I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see who comes out on top. I think the team that plays the most consistent play in and play out every play you know, is going to come out the champion. And to get a leg up in this district, you need to use any advantage you can find. And Lakeview Centennial has a big one. 5'11", 190-pound running back Kamar Wheaton is a game changer. His speed and agility have made Wheaton the number one running back recruit in the nation for the 2021 class. After nursing an ankle injury the first couple of weeks, Wheaton is 100% again and showed everybody that last week against Wiley. Not only did he rush for 170 yards and a touchdown, he also took the opening kickoff back 97 yards for a score. Coach Kendall Miller realizes he has something special in his backfield. You don't typically have a, a back with, with his size that has track speed. You know, most of your track speed guys are receivers or defensive backs, but uh, seldomly do you see a running back that has that type of speed. That's a 10-5, 10-6 type of 100 meters guy. Like what Coach said, my speed, um, uh, I can break a lot of um, angle tackles. I can beat them. Um, I got good vision too. Kamar Wheaton is a special player.